So this is the ECU off a of 2014 Wildcat X. And I unplugged it the other day and broke that pin off that you see missing. And <clears throat> try not to have to buy a new one. And hopefully I, I should have already put the videos of the green in there where it was all rotted and rusty, but I'm gonna try to use maybe a paper clip or something as a, a new pin. I don't know yet if it's gonna work. So if you're watching this, it probably did work. But you can see where I've taken my Dremel right there. And with a tiny little bit, you can see how small it is. Um, I've worked the plastic out of the area and also cleaned up where my solder joint's gonna go. I may try to clean it up just a little more. We'll see if it'll work. I'm not sure yet. So I'll give it a try. If it works, I will let everybody know. Well, it was tedious and it took some time. But hopefully, you see the pin in there. It's a little bit crooked, but I think it'll start and be be okay. It'll just snug up as it goes together. But it's about the best I can do. It's just it's really really small pin and just tedious work until I've had a little bit warm done in there. But I pulled on it some with some needle nose. And it's, it's good and tight to the piece that I've soldered it to, so I really don't see a problem. So I'm gonna to try to get the, the old pin is still broke off in the harness on my machine. So I'm gonna to try, to, try to get that out of the harness and then we'll see if it'll plug up and run. So here is the ECU connector on the machine. You can see right there at the end of my thumb, that pin from the ECU is broke off and stuck in the pin. So I have to get this apart. <clears throat> I think I'll have to pull this out the back and then try to, try to get that pushed out of the pin. Try to get the old pin pushed out of the, the little holder and then put it all back together. So. I'm try to do that now. All right, <clears throat> finally <clears throat> have the connector out. You can see the old pin sticking out the end there. The way you get the connector out is once you get the back off of here and get get this little lock off. You have to pry this blue piece out which holds all the wires in place. I had to cut the tape on my harness and then cut tape that was holding these wires and kind of try to comb them straight a little bit because they're at a 90 degree turn normally. I did not have a terminal release tool, so I had to make one. Uh, this is an old connector that I cut thin with the Dremel and just kept working with it until it was just the right size. And then you have to pull this out, which it just pries right out. I didn't pull it all the way out because it releases all the pins as it comes. I only needed this, this end so you can see, you know, it stops somewhere right here and I was down working down here. So I got this out. So I'm gonna, well, maybe I can do it. Um, video on. Right there is the end of the pin out of my ECU, ECM. So now I can put that back together and plug everything in and test it and see if it works. Alright, well, it seems to have fixed it. Showing any codes on the dash anymore when that pin broke off. 
with a start, it would have shown E on the dash instead of neutral. And uh, it's showing a bunch of different codes. where it comes across here and ties to itself and it's got a little lock in the middle so I've just zip tied it so it can't it can't release so it shouldn't really make any difference uh, I've only got two bolts in it right now because I'm going to wash out real good down here underneath it that was all packed full of mud <coughs> I wash this thing pretty good, but I don't take the seats out of it. And uh, <clears throat> that was all full of mud and dirt. See where I've been digging some out. And I think that was causing water to stand in here whenever I got, got it wet. And then I would have moisture getting in this mud. So hopefully we can take care of that problem. I think if the water gets in and just washes out, it doesn't stand there long enough to really hurt much, but I don't get in a whole lot of deep water, or try not to. But it seems to be running fine. I'm gonna test drive it, make sure I don't have any codes, put my door back on. I think we're gonna be back in business. I unplugged it and plugged it several times, didn't have any problems plugging in or you know the pin the pin never got to pull loose or anything so I think it's solid so all I can do is give it a shot and see so anyway hopefully this helps somebody it is possible to fix it if you lose a pin off of it it's pretty tedious to do the solder part but uh, anyway it is possible 